Welcome back everyone to Data Science. For everyone today, we're going to be looking at animation in D3. Let's get started. So to start off, let's go on and make a copy of our template. And so, um, again, something that we'll be uh, looking at today has a lot to do with some of the, the, the best parts of D3. And again, we're just doing something very simple. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, using some uh, transitions, durations, easing and delaying of events. Uh, we can also do um, a lot of other very cool, um, simple animations by the end of today. And again, as as things uh, proceed, um, uh, we'll definitely um, be creating up uh, some more advanced examples as we go along. So let me go on and get inside of the animation one. Let me go on and open up uh, both of these files here. Um, all right, so first off, let's kind of go on and start talking a little bit about um, the transition function. Okay, and so from that, we'll go on and put in some, some styling in here. Uh, so first let's create up a container okay and so this will have a height of let's say 100 pixels again it's just, this is going to be very similar to our previous example that we had uh, with the, um, just with the little um, div box uh, that we had so let's also do another 100 pixels here um, uh, our background color is just going to be, um, yeah, let's just have it dark blue. Um, all right, and let's go on and create a div in here. And then uh, let's actually go on and give it the ID here uh, of our container. I'm sure I spelled everything right there. All right, container. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, and so let's go on and actually um, do a bit of a transition here. So let's do D3 dot uh, select here. And we're going to be selecting uh, by that ID of container. So and we're going to use transition. And now um, maybe I should talk a little bit about what transition does. Okay. So again, um, this d3 dot some whatever the selection is dot transition is going to indicate the start of a transition and then it uh, some different uh, transition functions can be applied okay so in our instance let's say that we want to go from um, blue to red so we have a dark blue let's go to um, like a bright red so we can have that selection now off of that selection we need a duration okay and so maybe I'll make this um, thousand so 1000 in this instance would be one second and then we can say dot style so basically it's it's telling it to kind of wait okay whoops kind of an extra um, and that style will change the background color to um, um, Let's just let's let's just put it as uh, red, okay? Because then I think that's probably the, one of the furthest we can do from that navy. Uh, and I think I think we're going to be good with that part from the transition. So let's go on and do uh, Python m HTTP dot server to start up the server. Let's go on and do localhost eight thousand, and that happened way too quick uh, for us to see. But let me um, just refresh. Okay, and you can kind of see that. Uh, let me let me put it. Uh, let's change this to maybe two seconds. All right, and see there you can see. Again, I'm just refreshing it so you guys can see it, um, and it just goes from blue to uh, to um, to red. And again, maybe we could we could even add in something like dot transition dot uh, duration 2000 uh, style here uh, background 
color and let's say that we want to change that to yellow. So blue, red, yellow. Okay, so then you can, you can, as you can see now, you can kind of give it all kinds of different uh, transitions. You can stack them on top of each other uh, and everything else. And we'll, and we'll see later on, for example, when we have like a line plot or something, that transition, we may have the, the line plot kind of just like grow up or something. Um, so uh, again, we have, have another example of this. And one thing that we can do is let's say that, um, let's actually just make this a little bit same thing, just a little bit different here. And do something like um, var t r for, tr no, just t for transition. It's going to be d3 dot transition. And that's not going to help me at all. I need, uh, yeah, we can do that actually. Mm. So uh, let's do d3 dot transition. And let's say that you want to maybe. Um, reuse this um, in a couple ways and so like for example I used up here I used transition uh, duration 2000 twice okay well we can actually go about doing this is d3 dot select oops I'm using some of the shortcuts there and I need to remember what they are um, and so again let's do our container here and do something like transition. But notice here, we can do just T. We can throw that, that variable that we saved in there. Okay, and then we can add in here dot, or we can do style here of a background color of what? Um, purple, and I wanna change the, no, 2000 is fine. Okay, that didn't really change it enough for us to see. Let's change this to, to yellow. Okay, and now that transition works. And so this is, I find this to be very, very useful. Okay, when, when you're wanting to kind of have, have a little bit of some effect or some transition time saved up. Okay, you can say this as a variable and then you can reuse it um, a lot later on. Um, all right, so let's go on and maybe look at one more and let's do something using delay. So let me go on and comment this out. And let's do something like this. So the delay function, uh, let me, uh, let me just type it in here for now. Well, it's not what I wanted. I want delay. Okay. So just, just delay. Again, it's a function here. Um, is again, it's going to set a delay parameter for each element. Okay. So again, so when, whenever some um, transition is applied, okay. So we're going to have this transition that starts and stops at a specific delay value. Um, and so let's, let's actually create up a little bit of a, maybe a heftier example here. Uh, so, and I'm going to use, um, since it's going to be a little bit heftier, I want to change this just a little bit to make it, I'll, I'll separate everything out, okay, into variables. Um, here, select, we want the body in here, and we're going to append, append here SVG, and I'm going to go on and comment you out. And I'm going to comment out the style, okay? So that we can see here, it's just gonna be empty. Um, and so we're going to append some SVG. We're going to give some attribute in here, uh, our width. Um, a width will be 500. Uh, our height here will be 500 uh, and then let's go on and actually create up a bar bar one here is SVG dot append here uh, we want a rectangle and again, this is this is going to be very similar to how we would build up like um, SVG bar graphs 
uh, that type of stuff. And again, that's technically what we're doing right now. Um, now, again, this is going to be a more of a, a long winded uh, way to make this, but we'll and we'll have some other examples later on as well that are a little bit more simple. Um, but again, the, the purpose of this is to show the delay function. So let's go on and also add in whoops, um, an attribute in here and we want um, let's do a fill effect of a navy here we want some attribute in here of x 100 here we want y 100 no you know what no 20 I want something smaller 20 um, Where's my? That's fine. Uh, and then let's do height here of 20, a width of 10. Okay, and then we'll go on and also create up another bar. And I'm going to go on and just copy that. Uh, and what do we want to change in here? We're going to change, um, you know, let's let's have this other bar here be. No, we'll just keep it as navy for now. Um, X will be at 120. Y will still be at 20 here. Uh, height will be 20. Width will still be 20. And then we want to add in um, an update function. Excuse me. Why does it keep doing that? Um, so we want update in here, and then let's go on and create uh, create up a function for um, update. So in here we want update, um, and let's not give it any parameters. And so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to actually we want to grab each of these bars, and this one needs to change to two. Um, so again, this is just going to have two bars in here. And again, we could have done this with um, some functional programming and stuff, and we'll, we'll do that later on. Uh, but again, this is just for a nice, uh, simple example. So let's do something like um, uh, bar one dot transition. Uh, and then we want to use the dot ease. Okay, D3 dot ease linear. All right, dot duration. And here it will give it 2000. And then dot attribute here, we want height at 100. And then we're gonna do the same thing here is bar two dot transition in here. And then again, we're going to use the dot ease here, D3 dot ease linear. Uh, and then we want again, uh, duration 2000 milliseconds, uh, delay 2000 milliseconds, dot attribute here, and again we want height of 100. So uh, once, whoops, how did that happen? Okay, and so, oh, actually, I'm not gonna need those. So now we have this update function, okay? And so that's that's gonna be working here for us. So if we go back over here and run this, notice, this is what happens, okay? It's kinda cool, right? So this first one, this one's the first one, we're just gonna transition and basically on the load of the web page, okay, it's gonna start, and then after 2,000 uh, milliseconds. We're going. To, we're having this delay. Then this other, uh, this other bar two will start its transition. So let's do that again. 1,001, 1,002, 1,001, 1,002. Okay. So then now you can you can actually see how you can kind of maybe grow your bar charts up for each um, item, okay? And, and that'd be um, that'd be kind of fun for if you're doing some sort of uh, categorical bar chart or something. Then again, you can have this um, loop over uh, your transitions and kind of add in 
uh, specific uh, parts as you go along and kind of have everything kind of grow and make it look very natural. Um, now, something we didn't really talk a whole lot about, okay, is this ease function, okay? Now, um, it's how we uh, technically control motion, okay? So in this instance, um, we're, we're having it kind of like grow at a, at a linear um, function, okay? Now, there is... Um, let me let me pull up an observable uh, file for everyone. Here I have this up here. And you guys can see these are the other types of um, eases that you have. So again, you have them so they kind of like wobble back and forth a little bit. You have them so that they're more of a circular motion. You have this elastic type thing. You have a bounce. Um, and I don't know how they would actually look if we if we did this. So let's maybe do um, ease bounce ease bounce. Let's see how that actually goes and works for us. Okay, so that's kind of fun again, particularly if it's kind of falling down. Um, so or again, we could do something like this. Um, elastic and again you can get I find these to be really kind of fun animations and you can play with them however you want um, whenever you kind of are uh, uh, creating in some of your nice functional forms and that type of stuff and um, again you're the only limit that you have is your imagination when you start working with the animations so this is this is a very quick introduction, a rough introduction to um, to animation with D3. I hope you guys like this. If you did, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.